podcast, we were talking about sharing a story on your part two um, answer, Uh and she shared that she's much more likely to say, I was all, instead of I was like. I would probably say I was like every now and then maybe I was all. So it might be based on where she grew up or just the way her family spoke. Like you said, Um, it might be your personality. It's a little more informal, I think, to say I was all. I think it's a little more informal. It's a little more emphatic, um, more exaggerated a, a little bit. Um, yes. Yeah. So if this is not in your personality, no worries. If it is, go for it, guys. Okay. But we're showing you all your options here, which is super interesting. Exactly. Um, Let me give another example. When you're talking about someone else, the way they reacted or thought or generally what they said, you could say like, he was all, what are you doing here? And again, <laughs> because it's all or light, he may have actually said that, or he may have just had a look on his face that made you think he was thinking what are you doing here? Right. And if you prefer, he was like, he was like, what are you doing here? Right. That would work too. Perfect. Yes. And as a bonus, you will also hear native English speakers say he was all like, they'll say both. I hear this sometimes. (laughs) He was all like, what are you doing here? Uh, I guess. Yeah. I hear that sometimes too. Uh, Combine both. You don't need Uh to choose. That's another option. I just, these two, I was like, I was all very casual guys. Okay. Absolutely. Don't use it in a job interview. Don't use it in a business meeting. I think we can be.